Carlos is contributing and pitching instruction from one of the full time great teachers like Stan at Lake So, a couple of tips I've learned over the last few years from him is how to initiate the transition from the transition. We're not really creating much of a transition here, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a little kick on the way back, so a nice rotation on the way back, a nice fall through on the way back. Too many golfers, okay, move the butt end of the club wrongly on the, the way back. Okay, so if I move back some actually in the camera, too many golfers who address the golf ball, okay, what they do is their first intention is not to let the club head swing, okay. Their first intention is, first question I always ask a pupil is, do you release the club too early or too late when you're sh a sh hitting a short game shot? They're most inclined to say, I'll oh, release it too early. But there's research suggests that too many golfers release the club too late, meaning that they create a lot of forward shaft lane. So they're pulling on the butt end of the club, so they're coming into impact, they pull on the butt end of the club, and what that does, the bounce almost dissolves into the ground, okay? So, if I pull on the handle, what you can see there is the loft reduces, the bounce angle is, non, is non-existent. So, what we need to do is feel like, instead of this motion when we're dragging the handle, we need to feel like that the butt end moves back the way the club head reaches the ball before the hands do, okay? So, if I do this down the line, so too many golfers drag the handle. So if you drag the handle, then most golfers are too late, sorry, too late. You're not going to engage the bounce, and then from there you're going to create a lot of inconsistency. So you don't want to pull on the handle. If you pull on the handle, then what happens here is we're going to dig into the ground. So. To do that, we have to do the opposite. So the handle has to work back, the club head has to work into the golf ball first. So, this analogy where the club head gets to the ball before. So, I feel like you're almost releasing the club early, okay? So, from there, the hands stop the club head, use the momentum of the club head to try and actually hit the ball, okay? So, a way of feeling the true feeling of this is turn the club upside down and drop a ball, okay? So, drop a ball. This will sound, this will look ridiculous, but what we're trying to do here is hit the ball. So, this pretend this is a stick. Try and hit the ball, or this stick with the, the ball okay so too many golfers who try and use the butt end if you feel if you're using the butt end the club almost wants to work back the way okay so the weight of the clubs want to take the club head back the way okay so if I was to do that the opposite way and I was to do that okay then or if I was to pull on the handle from there I'm not going to create a lot of energy in the club head it's going to almost stop okay so I want to try and use the butt end of the club or try and use the butt of the wrong way and then use feel like the weight of the club is initiating the stroke, to feel like the weight of the club is controlling the stroke, okay? If I pull on the handle, then that's when I'm going to lose gravity, gravity is not going to be my friend, okay? So, grip up the club, use the opposite, feel the true feeling, and I want you to hit a couple of shots like this, okay? So hit a couple of shots like this, and then from there, feel the true weight of the golf club, and then hit shots, okay? And feel, if you have to, re to release the club, we have to have a light grip pressure, and then the weight of the club takes over, the weight of the club stops, and the club head takes over. Let the club swing properly in pitching, and from there is they drag the handle, and what happens is the handle moves forward, then they create too much of an angle. So if I was to move back, create too much of an angle, where the left arm is almost dislodging itself from the body, and then from there I'm going to dig into the ground, or I've got my first hand so I create too much angle, and then I'm more inclined to flip. Okay, so flip to try and actually get the low point to move closer to the golf ball. Okay, so. What you need to do is you need to understand the concept of how the club moves in relation to the butt end, okay? So feel like you'll turn the club around the wrong way, this is how the club moves you okay? So you should create a bit more power, and from there, I was to let the... I was to pull the handle, and from there, how it so it doesn't drop, okay? So this will feel a little bit risky to start off with, so what we need to feel like is let the club swing, okay? The handle doesn't move forward, doesn't move too much back, so let the club swing, don't move the hands. The arms in our body, so the arms should be in line with your pivot, in line with the middle of your, of your chest, and then they should remain in that position all the way through, so as you come through, the butt end should remain close to your chest, okay? So let's have a couple of shots now. swing then we'll be able to engage bounce first okay so I feel like this will feel a little bit risky to start off with but once you get into a better habit of doing that and 
using the bench you've got more margin for error. So use that drill, feel like the club head gets the ball before the hands do from there. You can add bounce, you can add loft on impact, okay? So feel like the club head swings, if you feel like the club head swings. dragging the handle and letting the butt end come back the way okay so the butt end works back the way so if you've got any thoughts on that video comment below and make sure you subscribe to the channel like that bell so it's focus on focus on the butt end of the club how that drags the driving force of the club like the club swing do the drill, see the difference between the club head swing and the butt end, and let me know your thoughts on that video.